Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. IGP briefs Buhari on hashtag NSABS as protest gains global attention. My people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Finally, you see the man, you see him face, Abi. Uh -huh. He has he's briefing Buhari now as we speak. I mean, he has briefed Buhari. You know, Buhari, everybody, the whole world has to speak first. By the time the international community begins to ask what is going on in Nigeria, that is when and only when your president, eh, Muhammad Buhari, will speak. Uh -huh. He will not speak, oh, but if it's to go for campaign and tell Nigerians to, to vote for him, he will speak. Uh -huh. So, my people, this is what is happening in our real life. This is what is going on. As uh, Nigerians, you know, the, the agitation for this NSAP continues. You know, uh, uh, Buhari has finally called the IG. Because let me tell you one thing. It is not just calling him to brief him on what is going on because he wants to brief. Because Buhari does not care about Nigerians to be very candid. Why did I say that? His antecedent, his behavior eh, will show. When a man loves something, it's not difficult to know. There are indices. There are indications. There are things that shows that this person likes this thing. But when a man does not love it, it's very glary. Unless you want to deceive yourself. So because the international community, remember that visa ban is still on the table. Mm -hmm. You do any, you see any. Since they will not, uh, you know, develop the nation, the United States of America, Great Britain, Canada will continue to threaten them with this visa ban. So he has finally come on the IGP. If you have not heard, please, today we have uh, posted to you that the U UK, uh, that the United Kingdom has uh, released a statement with regards to NSAPs and is addressing Nigerian government to so please stand up and, you know, stop disrupting people that are carrying out a peaceful pro pro protest. It is important. We'll feed you on all that very soon. But right now, let's get into this and hear what the IGP is briefing Buhari and what Buhari, Muhammad Buhari, is uh, saying to Nigerian, fellow Nigerians. Let's get all the details. IGP briefs Buhari as NSAS gains global recognition. The Inspector General of Police, Adamu Mahmoud, has briefed the President Major General Muhammad Buhari retired on the ongoing hashtag NSAPS protest in Nigeria. An aide to the president, Bachiru Ahmed, made this known in a tweet on Friday. Ahmed assured Nigerians that the president will take an action in the best interest of Nigerians. Good people of Nigeria have every right to protest the hashtag police brutality or anything they see is not going well. The president was briefed yesterday by IG of police. I am very sure actions will be taken and the best interest of Nigerians and SAP's protest, he tweeted. The Punch has reported that thousands of Nigerians are protesting against police brutality in the country. Apart from Lagos protests are uh, taking place across the country, including the capital, Abuja, Oshun, Delta, Edo, and so on and so forth. The movement initially hashtag the federal special anti-robbery squad widely accused of lawless arrest torture and murder has since b been broadcasted to include all police force why the SAPS unit was suspended on sunday groups such as amnesty international says the government has not gone far enough pointing to previous unsuccessful attempt to ban the force Several Nigerian celebrities has joined the protest. As we speak, the international community is beginning to respond to Nigerian government to take action against police brutality against her fellow citizens. Well, I had to use that tune because it's, um, we're talking about Muhammad Buhari. Uh -huh. So this is where, what's happening. Yes, Buhari has been briefed and we have heard that um, they will take steps and they will rise up to the course of the, uh, to the matter and they will take steps immediately and they will, you know, uh, begin to work at it. But for, for, for starters, the SAP unit, uh, in, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, 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 the SAP unit has been suspended for starters. Yes, it has been suspended. Um, however, they are looking into the matter to see what could possibly, you know, what's, what's possibly happening 
Where can we go from here? Where do we go from here? What's happening? How do we achieve more? What can we do to protect lives and property of Nigerians? Because if we keep quiet, hmm, silence they say is consensus. If I ask you a question and say, oh, do you like it? I say, mm, it means that you, you are not, you are indifferent. You don't mind, you see. Uh -huh. mm, uh, yeah. So I can go ahead and do it. And I'll say, oh, you did not protest. You did not say no. And of course, I'm right. Even in the course of law, silence they say is consensus. So my people, Nigerians, we must rise up to the truth. We must stop allowing oppression to continue in this country and behaving as if it is normal. It is not normal. Let's not get used to being oppressed. It is not a way of life. It is not part of the fundamental human right. Oppression is bad in any way, form or kind, and we should not allow it to continue. Nigerians, you must rise up and not allow, you know, the police is supposed to be there to protect lives and property, to protect fellow Nigerians, to protect our culture, to protect us, you know, and to deal with, you know, and discipline uh, unruly behavior that is threatening, that is a threat to fundamental human rights and reasoning. This is not the first country where protest is going on, for crying out loud. This is not the first country. Have you heard, have you seen the protests going on in America? Have you seen the protests going on in other parts of the nations of the world? Do they go about killing people, throwing tear gas at them? Shame on you, Nigerian police. Shame. You must stop this act and you must stop it now. You must stop the oppression and the harassment on Nigerians. What is it? Can a young boy not have his own money? People are working and guess what? People are doing things on the internet, are doing stuff and are making money apart from fraudulent activity apart from cyber crime people know their way around you know designing websites helping people to manage their sites and are making money so why do you think that everybody that has a laptop is committing a crime it shows the level of intelligence it shows that they are not vast they are not well trained there are indices, there are things, there are ways to identify people who are, who are, who are enjudging in, you know, crimes. And there is, a, there is, a, there are ways to, to identify these individuals and to, you know, not, not to harass the, the common man on the street who is genuinely, you know, having a, a, a struggle to make things better for himself and his family. So Nigerians, uh, they said uh, they briefed uh, Muhammad Buhari. So we are, wait we, are here, we are waiting to hear from the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to see how he will address fellow Nigerians. You know, that's the way it speaks to us. Fellow Nigerians is a struggle to speak that way, I must tell you. You know, you have to stay on course, not to be distracted. You see, Nigerians, so we must rise up to the truth. And please, if you have not joined hashtag end this, you are not, you're not doing well. You know, and again, apart from this old hashtag thing, in your own little corner, please pray for Nigeria. Please pray for this country. And it belongs to every one of us. If this country caves in, it will not just cave in, cave in itself. Human beings will go with it, and we don't want that. We don't want that. Needlessly, sons and daughters have died, and that's why people are crying out, end this brutality. It's unnecessary. So please, speak up. Don't stay on the sideline and say, it's not my business. You doing that is wrong. Bye for now.